Hey everybody, TBC here. So we're a week into Oakwind and wow what a week it has been. Um, I have played so much over the uh, the last week and certainly a little bit sleep deprived but uh, we made level 50 so really happy with that on my main and now it's time to work on an alt and make use of that legacy buff. Um, today, I wanted to start a series of videos where I'm going to show you how I level to 50 on my Ranger and all the trials and tribulations that we had on the way up. It was certainly a, uh, an exciting level path and I decided to do it solely with pickup groups. I didn't have a static. Now, a lot of people who level quick do it with a static group. You know, they're meeting people before the server starts that have the same playtime and they're staying together all the way to level 50. It's very efficient. It is the uh, probably the quickest way that you will level like that. But um, I decided this time I'm going to meet people and go out there into the world and group with whoever and wherever. I very rarely turn down any group invites. So, what I did. Now, you're going to be watching so you'll see uh, what I did. I held my traditional yearly pre-launch party we had a ton of fun we had loads of people in the stream over here on youtube it was a really good time and thank you if you uh, attended uh, that event i had a lot of fun so i get on the server straight away and you'll see right here how i do it if you are waiting for the for it to say up on the server select screen you are doing it wrong by the time you hit enter it will already be done you will not be able to get into the uh, into the server. So, um, what I did is spam that uh, enter button, and even though it still says locked, it let me in. Now, I didn't have any kind of special access or anything like that that I know some others did. No, no, it was just me just trying. And like I said, this is what you want to do if you want to get in right on minute one. Uh, you have to be spamming that button before it even says up, because the second it says up, there will already be be a cue. So what I did, I I accidentally rushed through the character creator and chat was shouting at me, I made the wrong class. And <laughs> and it wasted time straight away because I have the honor of probably having the first character deleted on Oakwind because I had to camp out, delete it and remake it. And that's totally my fault because I rushed through the character creator. Don't do that. So, once I got back in and I'm now the correct class, I'm a ranger, I immediately jump off so that I can die uh, really good and um, I I really don't like Greater Fade Arc as a starting zone, I think I said that in my last video when I was looking at uh, the best starting zones, Greater Fade Arc is not one of them, uh, it just doesn't have the mob density, it doesn't have the amount of mobs that um, you need to to level quickly so i made the decision to run on over to one of my favorite starting areas and that is steam font um a fairly safe run even at level one you've just got to get through uh, great fa and you're just touching the very edges of lesser fa and, and that runs fairly safe and once you get in steam font you are golden um, notice that my ui was already set up macros and stuff because i copy them over from a character on yellow Knight, and that saves a whole amount of time so it's definitely worth doing if you know what character name you are going to have what i do is i i'm so excited i just start killing and the first thing the first thing i see which is a runaway clockwork now Wow, those things are underconned. I hadn't realised quite how underconned they are, but even level one, level two, they hit hard and have a ton of HP. And I'm in trouble right now. Um, and I'm starting to look around and say, okay, I've just purpled. Where's the guard? I'm gonna go. And then I see my group mate, Medico, arrives to save the day and tosses me a heal. And I think, okay, now we're together. We can kill this clockwork easy. And we do. We get it down. Um, I then go ahead and clear my bags because you've got to make sure you, you do that because you're going to be filling up your inventory really quick if you don't have the bags. And we're going to get back to it and get back to killing. Now to one of my fa my favourite camps in Steam Font and that is the Kobolds. And why are they one of my favourite camps? Because there's a ton of mobs 
in a really small area, they respawn really fast and they don't social. So you can go up to one kobold and start smacking it and the others will just sit there and watch and then you can turn and start killing them. Um, now there are other people around but so far it's just me and uh, Medico. So it's uh, actually a little bit slower than you know um, a full group killing these because you'd be able to lock them all down. And we're still like a little bit under level but you know we're giving it a good go and we're showing this kobold who is the boss. There's so many people around and uh, this mountain lion was like 2% health, 4% health and I'm chasing it and I got a little bit of cl too close to these skellies who absolutely pushed me in and back to g Fate I go. I'm like oh no but whatever, first death. It's going to take a couple of minutes to run back and while I'm running back I've got people messaging me, um, looking to group, people on the stream, people from uh, like the guild that I'm in a message of me asking if they could join and we will be killing quicker so of course I said yes. So we're level 2 now, we've got a band together, there's Medico still here, Nova Kane a rogue, uh, Mez Mini an enchanter, Vandergast I think is a mage and Delita the bard. Like I said this level doesn't really matter about your group composition, you know, we just want to kill everything and of course we're going to head over to the kobolds now that there's six of us. You know, we can lock that down uh, that area fairly efficiently and we'll level much much quicker than being uh, one or two characters by ourselves. Alright so still killing the kobolds here, you know, this is such a good camp once you get it locked down and it's just you know, you've got a group here just murdering all the kobolds um, the only thing really to be aware is the pathing in these little huts is absolutely terrible, mage pets will go wandering, mobs can sometimes warp so it's always advisable you either go in and find them inside or try and pull them out but don't send pets in um, <laughs> yeah it doesn't end well so what I wanted to do with this group is kind of stay here until level five when we get origin which makes it you know it cuts the time going back and getting spells vendoring in half because you don't have to run back you can just um origin back and of course you can always take the uh the ranger gate the dying method as well until you start uh losing xp so we're going to be killing here for um, a couple of levels, between level 3 and level 5, but it will go super, super fast. Um, and when we hit that level 5, we've got a couple of options. Now we can either stay in Steamfont, which is you know good, um, you just move more to like the northeast of the zone, there's lots of pathers and roamers up there that you can do, and it, that is good XP as well. Um, so that was an option that I put to the group. Um, but a lot of people were keen to kind of go somewhere else. You know, we'd been in uh, Steampunk for kind of a little while. So um, we said, okay, sure, we can we can do that. Um, so we decided to go see what was happening uh, around Ork Hill and Crushbone. Now, Ork Hill, I don't like it. It's, it, it's a camp that a lot of people remember back from 99, 2000, 2001, when they first played this game. Um, but it's the mobs they're social they're pretty close together and there's actually not that many of them and you know on this server with the FTE as soon as there's you know, a couple of groups there um, that's it that area is going to be locked down we ain't going to be getting um, many mobs whatsoever so we figure on we'll see what's happening in Crushbone um, now that we are level 5 but to see what happens, you're going to have to stick around to the next video. But overall, level 1 to 5 went really, really quick. I was really happy with it. Got to group with some people that I've never met before. And we had a bit of fun while we were killing these low-level camps. Um, no no worries whatsoever. Um, I did use a regen pot at first from, from the store. Just to kind of help with that initial bit of healing. And I had a daybreak point, so... You know, whatever, while people's manners are low, those, those little regen pots can go a uh, long, long way and can help keep you alive. It certainly saved my bacon a couple of times on these kobolds. Otherwise, really, really strong camp. Um, now, with the group, your people, so a few people left, we brought different people in as well as the levels came and went at the kobolds. Overall, I thought the launch 
of Oakland went really, really well. It was really smooth. There was no issues. A lot of people got stuck in the queues. Obviously, the initial queue is all about the character creator. And that can really lag out the server, which is why they throttle it and eventually open up. And uh, by the end of the day, there was no queue at all on Oakwind. Um, but it, it's not because it's, I'd say it's not been popular. The camps have been, um, and the zones have been very populated. There's been picks upon picks upon picks of uh, Unrest, Crushbone, even Steam font when I was there the other day still had a pick up on it. And this is like uh, almost a week after the uh, the server launch it's really crazy it is a busy server from what i've seen which has surprised me a little bit i thought this will not be popular maybe people are just practicing for next year or maybe people are actually really wanting to have an mmo experience that the everquest tlp servers offer because there isn't much out there so that's it for today's video levels one to five in the bag i've got pretty much my whole leveling journey recorded and over the next few days and week i'm going to uh, put those together in a kind of condensed format you know i've got many many hours of uh, of filming and uh, I'll, again i'll put it uh, i'll condense it down to be a, a watchable 10 20 minute video um if you could please like and subscribe to the channel we are growing the channel and it's very very much appreciated by hitting that like and subscribe button down below other than that um if you're interested in raiding on oakwind and you're in a pst uh, time zone or late night est uh, we do have a guild going um, that i'm a officer in i'm helping to uh, to run uh, we had our first run on hate last night and just a Armor farm, we got all the minis down and so on. So it was a lot of fun and it went very, very well. Uh, link for the Discord down below uh, if you're interested in uh, raiding with us. Other than that, I am the Break Canuck and I hope that you have a fantastic day.